picture where we're going to use the mouth as the have creature's you mouth. You want the eye to be yeah. just above the mouth, right there. Then this is going to be a lion, so we're going to do a nice little muzzle there. And then we're going to do the bottom chin. Now I'm using a Star Blend white powder. Alright, now when you're doing a cap, you want to have a front of the face and then you want to come out for the nose. Usually you're drawing a male lion because we want to have the mane. So now we're going to do an ear that's a little bit on the round side. The jawline is going to come up and around. So this is about the shape that we have to work with whenever we do an on the mouth design. Now we're going to poke some little feet out in the front. So we've got a lion ready to pounce. Let's just get some color in there for the body. We'll work out exactly what is where with our black lines here in a bit. But then let's bring this line up all the way up here. I like to start by bringing some hair down and bringing some hair in. So we have these nice wispy lines like that. Then we get to go in the opposite direction and bring it back out. Up here. You're doing so awesome, sweetie. And then up here on the forehead, let's just add a nice tail. Often if I'm doing a lion on a boy, I'll do just a black nose, but lions really have pink noses and it helps it look like a lion. I like there to be just a little tiny blip of that second lip. So I like to do a teardrop that goes upside down there, just going that way. And then we're just gonna cut up just a little. And then because we're making this a boy, we kind of do more of a square right there. And that really helps it look more masculine. And we'll go ahead and leave that eye right there and then bring that around. So we're gonna outline. Okay, and let's add just a few little dots there. And let's do just a little bit of an eyebrow there. We're gonna curve up and around. And some nice little furry strikes. So we're gonna do one leg that comes this way. And then this will be our second leg. And then we're just going to come up. No, we're not back. All right. <laughs> for the little feet. And we'll curve that around and give him an elbow. So in order to make this back leg work, let's start with his paw. Okay. And we're going to come back and give him kind of a leg there. And then we'll come bring that up here and we'll just do a nice little tail let's start right here and just do some strikes up and down there like that and then let's do the same thing So when I do these mouth animals, I don't like to draw the little fangs because we're using their teeth so much, but we can draw some little claws. We can draw some little claws over here, and then let's add a few more little highlights. Draw just a couple, and then let's add Thank <laughs> you.